today's video is going to be on giant pancakes. I've been seeing this a lot on my social media like Buzzfeed, Facebook, Twitter, and even Instagram, so I decided to make my own personal take on it because I've seen a lot of this, but I've never seen an actual recipe, so I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing you're gonna need is one egg. Next, you're gonna get a cup of your favorite pancake mix. I'm using Bisquick today. Grab yourself a half cup of milk and make sure it's this half cup and not the solid half cup. The fillings I'm going to use are chocolate chips and M&Ms. I just love chocolate a lot. I actually don't like maple syrup, so I'm gonna be using chocolate syrup. You're also going to need some Pam, that way it won't stick onto your rice cooker. Yes, you heard right, we are going to be using a rice cooker today to make this giant pancake. Now the first thing you're going to do is get your pancake mix and just put it into a large bowl and flatten it out. Then you're going to make a little hole in the center, that way you can make a little place for where you put your egg and you're gonna break the yolk and just stir it so it's a lot easier to mix in the milk later on. Just keep mixing until you get a smooth consistency kind of like this and then you'll be ready to add in your fillings whatever you choose. Now I'm going to pour in my little bowl of bad choices and you're just going to stir it until it's perfectly distributed throughout the rest of your mix. Next you're going to spray Pam all over the rice cooker pot um, because your mix is going to rise while it's cooking so it's better to be safe than sorry. Now you're just going to pop in your pancake mix into the rice cooker pot and just make sure you got every bit of what you just made because it'd be sad if you missed one chocolate chip or M&M. After that just click down on the little button on front and it should be on the cook setting. I'd like to add that it's gonna say go back to warm every now and then so just wait a little and click back down on cook and just keep doing that because if you leave it on the warm setting it's gonna take forever to cook. So something you can do to know when your cake mix is done is you can see visibly that it's dry on the top, but a little safety precaution is to just grab a little toothpick and poke it in the center. And if you can see a little bit of the mix on your toothpick, that means it's not done yet. And just wait a little bit more and it should be done. But anyways, I was correct. And so I'm just gonna flip over my cake And ta-da! There's your giant pancake. And now the fun begins. You're just gonna make it look all fancy and pretty by putting on some syrup. Here's more chocolate on top of a chocolatey pancake. Just kidding! I'm gonna add some more chocolate by adding mini M&Ms. I actually like mini M&M's a lot more than the regular M&M's. I don't know, maybe if that's just me, I just think that they taste a lot better. And that pretty much concludes my giant pancake tutorial video. I hope this really helped you guys. Um, this actually took me three trials to get this right, just because there wasn't an actual legitimate recipe online, so I hope this helped you a lot. Um, there are some things I wanted to add if you want to make it look like an actual pancake to use a bigger rice cooker just so it would be flatter. I would also recommend not doubling up this recipe just because it would not, your rice cooker won't be able to cook through it all. And also this makes an, an equivalent of seven pancakes, so definitely share. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!